Top 10 Reasons to Stay on Facebook. This is in response to a Rocket League post that got dug and everyone's talking about all the privacy of Facebook. Number 10, personalized content. Let's face it, you get a lot of your news from your friends. Otherwise, you wouldn't be friends with the people that are giving you that information. If you don't like something, like Zynga updates, you just click hide. Your Facebook wall is the most personalized version of a home page that Yahoo and Google have been striving for for billions of dollars in years. So Facebook got it right. Number nine, that cute girl in high school. You know, you looked her up. Yep, that one that you really wanted to take to prom. She was the first girl that blossomed in high school. And now uh, now she's on Facebook and she's got two kids and she's recently divorced. And something in your mind thinks, I might have a chance with her now. Number eight, standardized UI. Any Facebook page that you go to looks the same. Remember GeoCities? Every page was like blah, blah, blah. And then MySpace was like, customize your profile and everything like that. MySpace pages got just stupid. Like, I couldn't even go to that place because you never know what animated GIFs and like what buttons people were hiding and put in different parts of the website. Facebook's easy to use because it all looks the same. It's that easy. Number seven, it's your soapbox. Admit it, you want to be heard. You want to share things that you find interesting with other people, but you don't want to be like, call them up and say, hey, you got to check out this video. You just post it on your Facebook wall and people will consume it if they want to. It's a little better than Twitter because you can share links and get a little preview of the links and people can decide whether to click on that link. You're getting your message out whether people like it or not. The number six reason to stay on Facebook, it's your own personal MMORPG. You played World of Warcraft, or you played Ultima Online, or you played EverQuest, and now you're playing Zynga. You're playing Farmville, and you're playing Mafia Wars. You can play Mafia Wars now without installing a bunch of stuff on your computer. Look, World of Warcraft took over 20 gigs on my hard drive. I had to buy a new hard drive because it was taking up too much space. And when I say MMORPG, you can play Zynga, or you can play Scrabble. A lot of people play Scrabble. I play it on Facebook, I play it online, I play it on my iPhone. I'll probably play it on my iPad. Number five reason to stay on Facebook, privacy. Everyone's complaining about their privacy. They change the terms of service. Well, you know what? Everything's changed their terms of service at some point. I bet you everyone that complains about privacy on Facebook has a keychain full of discount cards to their local supermarket, whether it's Vons, Ralph's, and they know you eat SpaghettiOs a lot more than you should. Everyone's tracking all your purchases. What's the problem with tracking what you do online? It just means you're going to get more relevant and personalized data and, uh, sent to you and better ads and everything like that. So, you know what, don't complain. And you can opt out of it. So what if it's a little hard? It's, it's a little hard to do anything. It's, it, it's hard to change your oil in your car, you know what? But if you wanna learn how to do it, go do it. If you wanna opt out of Facebook, you can. If you wanna opt out of the privacy settings, you can. You know what, there's a lot of profiles of people that I wanna to talk to, but they're, they're, their profiles are private. And number four, your ex is on Facebook. Come on, don't lie, you've looked her up. Number three reason to stay on Facebook, everyone's equal. It's communism at its best. Obama wouldn't have been elected without Facebook. The socialist order, everyone's equal. It doesn't matter if you're Harvey Weinstein or you're Steven Spielberg or you're little Joe Schmo or you're Justin Bieber fan. Everyone's on Facebook and everyone's profile looks the same. And everyone has access to the same apps and everyone has access to the same data and everyone has access to the same privileges. Anyone can be an advertiser. Anyone can set up a profile page. Anyone can set up a business page. Anyone can set up a page for things that they like. Anyone can set up an event. It doesn't matter who you are, how powerful you are, and how much money you have. Facebook is the great equalizer. Number two reason to stay on Facebook, it's free. And the number one reason to stay on Facebook, admit it, you're lonely. And you need the friends. You need the validation. When someone clicks like on some uh, emotional prose you just posted, you, get, you, you start to love life again, and you put down the bottle, and maybe you have one less cigarette. Admit it, you need the friendship, and all of your friends are on Facebook. <laughs>